What's up, everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out, man. Real talk. So I had my system two weeks after the freaking launch of the Xbox Series X and PS5 and stuff, and I have some gripes with this. And to be honest, I think these consoles should have been launched around April, March of this year. I mean, think about it. If you have if you have a current gen consoles, what are you fucking playing right now? <laughs> be be for real here. Even playing stuff that just came out, Destruction All Stars. Really not that good. <laughs> I played a couple hours of it. You can you can watch people reviews. It's really not that good. And what else is coming up? Coming up next, freaking Returnal, a uh, game that's pretty much a a, a roguelike, and it's probably seventy dollars. You know damn well I'm very picky of my games and stuff. And that's probably the next triple A game, which I don't think it is. It's the people that made. Um, Rezo gun. And I think it was Super Stardust. And they're finally making a triple A game for the first time. They want $70. Yeah. I'm, I'm not that type of guy to go just pay pay something that much if I don't know that much about them. Or they have they haven't proved me that it's it's worth seventy dollars. Also, Microsoft, let's be real here, don't have any games right now. I think they have like what? The um medium and some people had like mixed results on that game because it was what kind of short and also um most people didn't didn't like it i know it's supposed to it's, it's supposed to be an xbox exclusive for 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 temporary time and stuff but um I heard it's going to come, come to PS5 and stuff. I'm excited for that game, to be honest, because it has that Silent Hill vibe, but from the reviews and other people I listen to, they say it's kind of meh, which I'll get eventually. Um, but for real, guys, what are you playing on these systems? I'm still playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um... It's just older games. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I do like my, my system. I, I love my system. It, it's it, it's a great console. But there's like nothing out there that says, Hey, I'm glad I got this system because of this game. Nothing out there yet. And I know it's a high demand for these consoles. But you're going to have to freaking wait a little bit longer. Because AMD are having a, a horrible time to get the freaking chips out because of the pandemic. They probably won't get anything out. Maybe. This is this is what the CEO from um, AMD said. Maybe at the end of freaking this year. Maybe. And you know how the freaking scalpers are like. Hey, it's, it's still hard to find a freaking console nowadays. The price went right back up for the current gen consoles. Went right back, went, went right back up. A thousand dollars, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, it's freaking ridiculous still, and people buying them. I don't understand why, why the fuck I'm buying them, man. I really don't. But um, yeah, there's like really nothing exciting to play on the systems. So. To be honest, just 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 wait a little bit longer because I had an issue with my PS5 controller. Okay, I told you guys if there's a drift issue, I'll let you know, and I did. And there's a hardcore drift issue. I got a, I sent it to Sony. They gave me a brand new controller. How do I know it's a brand new controller? Because it looked new, and also it had a freaking update. These these um. Controls have updates, just like the Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch stuff. Yeah, it was just like that. So I knew it was freaking brand new because I always update my shit. Um, these things are fragile. These console, this this controller is very fragile. 
If if you don't believe me, look it up on forums. I dropped my second controller maybe two feet off the table. Two feet, man. I was playing, I was doing something, I think helping out my girlfriend and stuff. Um, went upstairs, I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I accidentally dropped it on, on the floor. Like I said, about two feet. Help my girlfriend out, come downstairs, play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. When you use the up button, it, it shows the freaking, um, your animal that, that flies around you and stuff like that. Wouldn't work. Wouldn't work at all. And I was just like, don't tell me, don't tell me my controller's broken. Well, it started working fine now, like the very next day, because I, I had the receipt. <laughs> I always keep my receipts if anything freaking go, goes uh, wrong with it, anything. But next day it started working. It's been working fine ever since. And looking on forums and stuff, everybody's having a huge drift issue with the controller. These systems were freaking rushed. No ifs, ands, buts. The PS4 was not like this. You could drop that controller so many times. I dropped my Xbox One controller so many times. That mofo still works. I dropped it early today on accident. Heck, I think my, I think I dropped it yesterday. Still works like a champ. But these these this dual sense controller, nah, dude. It, it's it's fragile as fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. This thing is fragile, and. They should have did more testing on this. Even though I got my my console, my controller for free. I mean, well, I had to pay shipping, so like eight dollars for for a brand new controller was just not bad and stuff. Um, but yeah, these, these controllers, they're they're good. Uh, I do like the the rumble feature and that adapt the triggers, but it needs more work. I remember the PS4 controller. Um, being everybody had an issue with the um, analog stick the rubber falling off on it you know I think they did a good job on the rubber this time but I always had little rubber grips just to make sure the rubber didn't peel off because my Xbox One controller did the same thing so I put rubber grips on there but um, yeah this, this console was freaking rushed they should have waited. And also, I cannot play two of my freaking digital games. My Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The PlayStation 5 had a freaking update. And I don't know what happened. I had my external hard drive. Everything else working fine. All my digital games work fine. Except those two games. And I have no idea. And the thing of it is, I cannot un uninstall them. It would not let me uninstall them whatsoever I can't freaking the only way if I had to do it I had to like pretty much erase my whole um, external hard drive and I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm not freaking doing that nope so I'll be playing that mofo on my PS4 alright I have a crap I have a 4 terabyte 4 terabyte external hard drive you think I'm going to re-download all those games all over again? You know how long that freaking takes? <laughs> how much data that freaking takes, man? It's a lot. A freaking lot. And they still, it's freaking almost the middle of February, man. And they suddenly still haven't said anything about the extra storage in a PS5. Nothing. Nothing at all. Taking a sweet freaking time. Microsoft, they have they have a freaking remedy for that. It costs about two hundred and ten dollars. I think two hundred, two hundred twelve, two hundred, two hundred twenty, close to that. It's a one terabyte, but they have a remedy for it if you run out of space. You know, it's expensive, but they have a remedy for it. Sony, they're like, nah. Six six hundred six hundred um gigs be all right for you. I think I have like maybe a hundred and forty five gigs left. Um, switching games left and right and stuff. Not a, not a huge deal, but it's annoying. That's the reason why I put a one terabyte in my my PS4 <laughs> and put my five hundred gigabyte in my PS3 because I like to have more space. You know, 
I like to switch out games every now and then. I just, I just have that feel. Right now, freaking, I was playing Metal Slug, Metal Slug yesterday, and I just want to record something. You know? Just because. But, yeah, these consoles, don't get me wrong, I like the console. It's, it's a great system. It's it's great for backwards compatible games. God of War gets a, a 4K, um, dynamic 4K, freaking 60 frames. I haven't played God of War yet, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, some of the PS4 games run a whole lot better. I know freaking Assassin's Creed Origins, I'll be Odyssey, runs a whole lot better. Even though I'm almost about to put 200 hours into this game, the DLC is good. <laughs> the story is actually really good. I'm, I'm impressed. It's it's all the DLCs I played for our Assassin's Creed games, this been this has been the best. I, I have to admit to that. But I'm being off subject here. But controller sucks. The issue with the two games with the external hard drive, I still put it on rest mode. I have no issues. Some people still have that issue. I don't know what's going on with that, but my side with the rest mode, I have no problem with it. But these consoles were rushed. That's all I need to say about it. But um, what else I wanted to say? Oh yeah, Cyberpunk, CD Projekt Red, getting hacked. Now, I don't know what happened. Apparently, their system got hacked by some supposedly, but group of hackers. Dreamcast guy said. You know, it might be fake because the the way they freaking said you you officially pwned back in like 2020, uh, 2020, 20 freaking 10, 20, uh, uh, 20, uh, 2009 and stuff. But the way the go look it up, you'll see what they freaking said about you know really releasing actual like material of cyberpunk the witcher and unreleased witcher bs and stuff to me i don't know i don't know what they're going to do but some people say they deserve this i don't i don't know for sure i mean the ceo needs to be fired to be honest but that's just me personally because he lied to a bunch of bunch of people you, you guys know what the situation and stuff and my thoughts on it but um yeah man 2021s are it's a real real great crazy thing going on but um right now i'm gonna go make this video post it up and go work out and go make my shake and play a little bit more so that's curiosity i gotta finish that game off because it's taking up a uh, 120 gigs of my space and <laughs> yes that's in on the ps5 hard drive well ssd drive but that's about it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below um, what do you guys think if you have a PS5 and stuff. Because I'm not going to lie to you guys about the system. If, it, if it's bad or sucks, I will let you know in a heartbeat. Uh, I'm not one of those freaking people that's going to lie to your face. I'm going to always be real, be for real with you guys. But anyways, guys, this is Big Ops Triple Six. Y'all stay awesome. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Eat healthy and watch out for weirdos. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Have a good one.